Hi, welcome back. We had a little bit of technical difficulties there, so um, if you were, you know, staying tuned, thank you very much. Let's we'll get right back to where we were started. All right, let's go back to, again, this segment is on working on relationships and the importance of relationships. And as I mentioned, the National Health, a publication of the American Public um, Health Association, stated that healthy relationships leads to a better life. They also noted that there were studies on the biological process of the links between relationships um, and health. So why do we need relationships? Um, one, because we're social species, that it's we're innate, you know, we need to thrive in order to thrive in life and to survive, we need to have that. Um, life is more fulfilling when you have relationships and um, it's good for our overall emotional health and well-being. So what makes a good relationship? You know, self-love, you know, maybe it's trust, honesty, forgiveness, communication, connection, all of these are important requirements to, um, for any type of relationship. However, does our personalities get in the way of our relationships? We, as we talk with flowers, when it comes to the bar flowers, the flowers work on emotional states. Now, it could be either passing moods or some of them are more personality traits. So what does it mean to passing mood? Meaning that any given time, I can be in any one of these uh, emotional states when it's a situation. So for instance, and say I have to take a test and I need some confidence. I would take large during that time. When I take that, do it off the test. When the test is done, I don't need to take it again. So that's a passing mood. So anytime we can be any of these passing, you know, in these emotional states. But some of them are more into the personality traits. What is a personality trait? It's something that you're born with. It's something that is just bred in us and that we keep it. It's who we are. So how do we deal with personality, strong personality traits, or maybe some that are much more maybe intolerant, or personalities that are much more submissive? So today I categorized kind of the um, three, those three categories, and how we, the flowers kind of can work in there, and what, why you would need to take those flowers to help you with your relationships. Now keep in mind, the flowers work on the positive, they don't work on the negative, all right? So we want to be as positive as possible. And if you notice on the bottles, the indications give you a positive indication. Now, although we're looking at when you take the test, it's a negative state, they all have good qualities. So there's no wrong personality, there's no wrong state. It's just that it's out of sorts at that moment, and that's when you want to, to re, it's almost like to kick you back in, bring you back to balance so that you're in control, puts it into perspective. So keep that in mind. These are not, you know, it's not bad that you may have a more controlling personality versus, you know, a submissive one. And then also note, too, that you may not know what your personality is right now. It takes time to be able to understand and learn the system to, to know which one. But let's go over a few of these so to help give you an understanding of how they would actually, when we have one personality versus the other, they would clash, okay? Let's look at Vine. Uh, Vine, we need Vine. Why? Because you're a leader. We love Vine people. They're the leaders. They're the ones who get us to where we have to go. However, when you would need to take Vine is that when you cross the threshold and you became too dominant, where you become more manipulative, you become more pushy, you, you're, you're not you're not motivating at all. You're actually basically being too dominant, so the person that you're dominating, it becomes either submissive or intimidated. That's not being a leader, right? So you take fine when you notice that people are turned off by you and walking away. Same as Vervain. Vervain is another leader. However, Vervain has, is the energy person. This person is like the one who volunteers you all the time. So if you're finding that, you know, you're, you, all of your loved ones are running away from you when you walk in the door because you have, you have so much energy and you're going to persuade them to volunteer, maybe that's a little bit something that you, you may want to, you know, tone down a bit. So you take Vervain, and that helps neutralize that. Okay, Holly, a little jealousy, okay, suspicious, this has hatred, this is a lot, very strong personality type. This person can't help but being, being you know, jealous. Take some Holly to help find that kind of that perspective, that love, that be unconditional, and then you'll be able to move forward. Okay, this is a great flower to take. And then, of course, we have the chicory, which is my favorite because chicories are very loving. These are the nurturing, the the, the caretakers, the mothers. The unfortunate thing is about when when it's when all said and done, when chick when the when the family moves on, they don't know how to handle it. They need something. They need to love. So what happens is that being they are becoming more manipulative or maybe uh, nagging a little bit too much. So if you find that you're in that state or you do that to your children or to your loved ones, take that to be able to love unconditionally, step back, and find another purpose, okay? So those are the controls, 
All right, so these people like power, these people like the control, these people, you know, it's all, it's all about, you know, um, as I said, you know, it's, it's having that um, power. Now, this group is more about the tolerance. So these personalities have very little patience, very little tolerance, and that sometimes gets in the way with relationships, okay? Heather, for instance. Now, Heather, we say, is the one for the group, someone who loves to talk about themselves, very self-centered, you know? But it's not, it's because they need to be heard. It's because they love relationships. They want to be around a lot of people. They have a lot, they want to have friends, but they have a lot to talk about. So they don't, it's almost like they don't, they can't help themselves. So it's all about them. So if you find that you're using the words I and me in a lot of your sentences, maybe try a little bit of Heather and maybe then you, you become better listener. Impatience. This is one of my favorites, okay? Because this is actually, actually, I think I'm going to take some of this because that is just me all over. So <laughs> this is patience. I don't have patience, okay? So these people talk, eat, everything fast, fast, fast. And they have a little, very little tolerance for those people that are slow, okay? So if you're finding that you're on the speed wagon and people, you know, and you become lonely because nobody can, can keep up with you, then you try some impact. It's wonderful. All right. Rock water. Okay. This person is very set in their ways. This is the one who is on a regiment. Okay. It's good because they're very structured. They're very organized. They're perfectionists. Okay. So think about how difficult it will be to have a relationship with someone who's not a perfectionist to be someone who's a perfectionist. They don't push on you. They're more or less for themselves. So they're very hot on themselves. So to kind of be more flexible, provide some more water. And then we have beach. We all need beach. Every one of us at some point or another needs beach. And why? Because we can be beachy. Beachy. Okay. This person has little tolerance for just people's shortcomings. So they're critical. They, you know, they mark and they, and, it, and it's something that, you know, after a while, when you notice if you hear yourself always complaining or, or, or criticizing how other people do that, then you want to take some beach, okay? But beaches are good because, again, they're passionate about what they do. So it's not bad to be beachy. It's just when you crossed over, when you're doing it a little too much. So we want to take beach. All right. Now we have the submissiveness. So you have the dominant, impatient, and submissive. Now figure out if you're how these would all work together. It'd be very difficult if you're having a submissive personality with a relationship with a control personality and if they're not in sync. Here is water violet. Water violets, they're very proud. They're very aloof. Sometimes they come across as being maybe a little snobby, but it's because they don't, they're uncomfortable with connecting. You would never find a water violet person in a large crowd. You know, you just don't do that. They like to be in their, in their own little zone. So it's not a bad thing, but if they're a lot in, the, in the zone by themselves all the time, is that healthy? No, because why? Because we're a social species. So they need to connect, all right? So you take that. Um, Centauri, this is to be more assertive, okay? Centauri is a very weak world. And it's not because, it's more because they don't like the confrontation. So if you put yourself last on the list all the time and you're being dominated by others because you don't like the confrontation or you don't want to, it's just easier to just please everybody, then take some Centauri, okay? This will help give you that perspective. And Memulus, okay? Shy and timid. This is very popular. So if you're finding you're shy, you're timid, this is a good one to help give you that confidence, the courage to be able to face that relationship. And lastly, we'll talk about the wild rose. Wild rose shows empathy. Wild rose is a, is a person who just doesn't care. You know, they just go through life, you know, well, it is what it is. I don't worry about it. You know, they shrug a lot. You want to go out to dinner? Uh, yes. Where do you want to go? I don't care. It's like, wow, okay, you know. So if you take a wild rose person and you match it up with somebody who's with an impatient person, how, how do you think that will go, right? This, drive this person crazy. Just make a decision. We don't care. Just make it. We're fast. Just go, 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 go. We don't care what it is. But this one is going to, I don't know. So it takes a wild rose to get a little more enthusiasm into yourself. So as I said, you know, you can take, you know, blend them. You know, how do you make, you, you identify what you are. So I'm, again, I put my... Um, impatience in here. I can try maybe from this group, 
because even though it's a tar, a little mimulus, that would help me with any of my fears or just being, you know, maybe I can be shy. I don't know why, but if I could. And then I'm probably more, if I look here, probably more vervain. I have, you know, overly enthusiastic. I'm persuasive. I like, I'm, I'm like to, you know, convince people to do things a certain way. All right. So there, yeah, and I'm just sip it to the water. See, I'm already better. Um, so, or you can make a mixing bottle. Remember, you can blend up to seven at one time. So again, you put two drops in here, and then from this becomes your blend. The, the bottom line is that there's no wrong way to take it. You have to find what's comfortable for you. You want to take the test to determine, you know, what is holding you back. Remember, ask those questions I've always said to you. How do you feel now? What you know? What what you know? What's holding you back? What are you struggling with? Any experiences you haven't done? And always remember, too, at any given situation, always take the rescue remedy. As you know, this is the combination of five that helps during a crisis. So what would be the crisis? The crisis would be, say, you have um, a first date. That would be very stressful, okay? So maybe you would take that during the time of a, of a first date. Or any you know, uh, uh, conversations you're going to have that's going to be very uncomfortable. Or any uncomfortable situation at the moment. This is it. You're at the moment, okay? You want all take, um, take rescue remedy to help you get through that moment. Okay, so now I just want to make it clear that I am not a doctor. I want to make it clear that we're, you know, not a psychiatrist. I am a professional, I am an educator for back flower remedies, and that we these do not deal on physical symptoms. Okay, so when you, I, you don't want to, you know, we're not saying that you're going to treat, we're not going to cure any diseases. If you have some serious, you know, um, health issues or psychological, psychological issues, please by all means, you know, consult with a um, professional, um, medical um, professional because you need that, all right? Um, all right, so what else am I gonna talk about? I'm gonna talk about, uh, oh, we have a giveaway. It's that exciting, we have a giveaway. So what we're gonna do for the first 15 people who have, um, who will share this live post, we're gonna give them some coupons. And the coupon is $2 off, all right, um, for back flowers. And in addition, you're gonna get it free. So it's like buy one, get one free. Ooh, wow, this is so exciting. So now it's an opportunity to be able to um, build on your um, set when you want to have, you know, for, um, for the flowers. So 50, first 15 people, share it. You'll be contacted on how you can you actually um, get the coupons and be able to redeem them, all right? And don't forget where to redeem them, local health food stores. You can go online, Lucky Vitamins, you know, Amazon, um, and you, you also can redeem them that way. All right, so for our next session, we are going to talk about um, sleep. Um, are you getting enough sleep? What is causing you lack of sleep and how the flowers can help get you so you can feel more secure at night, uh, relax, be calm, and be able, especially calm the mind, to allow a good night's sleep, all right? Don't forget, people, this is love. Take your remedies. Let's spread the love, all right? This is because we're social species, and we, we thrive on that, okay? So thank you for joining us, and don't forget, always, please, um, be all that you can be. Enjoy.